We have a brand new Lexus RX and in this video I would really want to show you the differences between the old RX and the gorgeous new updates on the 2023 RX. So it has a powertrain, the all new powertrain series ranging from 246 horsepower all the way up to 367 horsepower and the new RX will go on sale here in the US by the end of the year with a starting price around $50,000. But let's jump in straight to Photoshop here because there's so much I want to talk about here. We're going to have a look at the front side and rear and also the interior which has some new updates to it as well. But we need to talk about this front end. I've already heard a lot of opinions about this front end. But so let's have a look at why I think this is a, a really good update from Lexus in the new RX and what I didn't really like about the old one. So as you can see in the front end we have a lot going on with the different lines and this is typical Lexus a lot of styling going on in the front end and this massive black grille. We're talking about BMW having big grills but have a look at this it covers maybe 70% of the front end. I do like the headlights that we have in the old ones we have this very recognizable Lexus L shape in the in the daytime running lights it looks very sharp and then we have a nice chamfer for the headlights to rest upon but what what I think Lexus could have done differently here is there is if you look at the graphic features all by themselves they look like they don't belong to the same car and they look kind of out of place for example let's have a look at this and the shape of this detail right here it has a very interesting and irregular shape with different corners different angles and radiuses on the corners and also it gets thicker the the higher we go which creates like almost a, an unbalanced feature right there and it's a pretty uh, you know distinct key feature of the front end so they should have I think implemented that better so it goes from thicker in the top and then thinner as we go down the uh, down the bottom to the base of it and then if we look at the base we now have a fog light just implemented pretty randomly in my opinion down all the way at the base of this black structure that doesn't have seem to have any connection to the fog light down here and if we look at the grill for example we have this line which is typical uh, Lexus line to have a grill that looks something like this right we all know that this is the Lexus grill uh, trademark but what we have here going we have this line going up and then it creates another angle kind of curving in even further here before it goes up this way so I kind of want to have it be straight out and have it simplify the graphics and also make all these pieces the grill the headlights this uh, I don't know if it, this is a fake vent or not but this vent and also the fog lights have them be more connected with each other in some graphic ways and I think that's exactly what they did with the new RX I think this is a great update we have now this new grill which looks like it's kind of the body transforming or, or morphing into the grill as you can see the grill kind of cuts into the body itself which looks really cool and not something I've seen from Lexus before and it also kind of fades in the same way upwards with this body transforming into kind of fading into the grill a really cool treatment of of the new grills of Lexus and we now we, we also skipped this angle that I talked about in the in the first uh, previous generation uh, RX that we don't have this angle anymore now we have a straight line going down here going into a straight line going up which is connected to the headlight so the headlight sits in direct connection with the grill now and I think that's exactly what we needed and just look at how much better this looks now compared to the old the old looks like seriously comparing to the new one this looks like random bits and pieces that they just stuck onto the front face while this actually has a lot more connection to what's going on in the rest of the front end and we have the fog light now being integrated this tiny little fog light right here I assume this has to be the fog light I can't see it anywhere else on the front end and we have similar angles all over so this is now parallel it's not something weird going like this or even even uh, weirder 
going up and get, getting thicker the higher up we go like we have in the old one right here this looks so much better we also have a nice clean steel chamfer going here that connects has the same parallel lines as the housing frame or the chamfer for the lower corner intake and i also like that they decided to keep this part of the grill body colored now it kind of reduces the the impact of the grill in combination with this fading piece into the grill and kind of go from silver into black it's a very cool and unique treatment of the front end of the lexus rx let's have a look at the side view and what's going on here this is where i have a bit of a problem with the new rx and i'm gonna let you know why first of all i never really liked this type of styling from lexus there is too much going on for my taste we have the shoulder line going in like splitting at this part right here one shoulder line going down into this line and then one another shoulder line going straight forward into kind of the front headlights and we have this very typical by now by these days this line cutting into the lower part of the car right here then going in and creating the line for the bumper in the rear we also have a very interesting uh, framing of the greenhouse with this window going here i think this is actually not a window this has to be some solid piece because of structural integrity and stuff like that so it looks like the window is actually stretching all the way back to the rear window but it's a cool feature and i don't mind that it's just how lexus decides to style their cars but look at the front end from a side view we have this line and then we have kind of a fog light just resting on this gorgeous chamfer down here in a pretty weird way so looking at the new one what happened here is they cleaned up the shoulder line a little bit and now we have this that we've seen in the in a couple of concept cars of the shoulder line kind of going up here and then going having this curve up and then creating the same almost identical line as we have in the old one but i think this treatment works better than having two cut line two shoulder lines that kind of splits in a interesting position in the side view so i think the new one looks a lot cleaner in this specific area right here but what i don't understand why lexus did this is this line i can't even tell what's going on here it looks uh, way too organic this feature right here than anything else on the car everything else is very sharp and chiseled and then you have this weird lower part that i don't understand why lexus implemented in this in this side view it just doesn't fit the overall car for some reason because it's too organic it needs to have sharper lines and sharper corners to it in order to be a part of the rest of the design but looking how the front end is designed in the side view this looks obviously a lot cleaner than we have before we now have a straight line going here in uh, as the chamfer for the headlight and then a straight line going into this and creating a simple line going down to house the uh, side intakes we also have either 19 inch wheels or 21 inch wheels for the 2023 rx i would definitely go with the 21 inch because the more you fill out the wheelhouses the better it looks even though this is a crossover suv or whatever these are called these days nobody's going to take this off road so you might as well put some nice wheels on there this is also 2.4 inches longer than the previous uh, generation and i think that looks better the old one had uh, the overhangs in the front and the rear looks pretty Pretty long in the old one but it still looks pretty long in the, in the new one as well but with the longer wheelbase it just uh, creates a better looking balance in my opinion so having a look at the rear view before we jump into the interior which has some major changes to it as well this is where I think the the new RX really shines we have a normal looking bumper in the old one which is pretty looks pretty dated by today's standard and then we have a lower diffuser with some uh, interesting graphics going all over the place i do like these uh, these taillights they are pretty uh, typical um, lexus with this styling and we have a nice little framing in the old generation looks pretty decent but looking at the new one right here it looks so much better just have a look at the design of the interior internal pieces of the the taillight here and then we have this light bar that has some dynamics to it because it goes from thick right here and then thins out as we come to the middle and uh, right where the Lexus logo is, is as at its thinnest 
and then of course it goes back and gets thicker on the other side as well very clean looking rear end graphics for the new Lexus RX I really like this upgrade I think it looks great on the IS and I think it looks great right here on the RX as well and then we have some resemblance to the front grille now in the rear we had some of that right here with this these angles right here but they're more pronounced in the new one and almost similar graphics to this design like we have in the front end so we have this line and then creating this outlet right here or air outlet I'm not sure if that's functional probably not but it kind of reminds me of the way they did the front end so it has a connection from the front to the rear now and I always love when cars have that because it makes it look like it, the designers work together the designers who worked on the rear view actually discussed and talked with the designers working on the front view to create something similar all over the car and then as you can see this creates a more modern looking bumper as well because the bumper kind of now comes out from this air outlet and it doesn't stretch all the way to the fender as we have in the old one and this creates a more modern integration while still retaining a traditional looking normal bumper and looking at the lower part right here it's it's same thing here as in the front view it looks a lot cleaner now simple graphics we can have a sim simple lines like this and a simple black line separating the lower diffuser from the rest of the body from the rest of the bumper this looks way better than the complicated uh, ups and downs that we have in the old one so again really good job by Lexus creating and updating the RX but let's have a look at the interior before we finish up here this is the old one and this is the new one and as you can see we don't have an iPad on the new one we actually have the infotainment system being separated from the gauge cluster just as I like you can also see that the start button on the old one was down here it's now moved to up here so you kind of have to reach up like this to, to turn your, <laughs> your new Lexus RX on. You also have a much bigger screen. I think this is 14 inch or something like that. It can run 14.2, I believe. And we have a nice cozy housing for the gauge cluster, which is all digital. And I believe this is customizable to do whatever you like because it, it should be. I mean, what, what, other is the, what other benefit would it be to have a fully digital gauge cluster if you can't customize it? But what I like is that they kept it separate. We have a big screen right here looks a little Toyota ish with these angles but that's fine other than that it looks like a very clean classy interior and I am thankful that they kept the gauge cluster separate and built a little house for it right there even though it is a 2023 model they didn't go for the big iPad curved iPad on the dash well done Lexus let me know what you think about the new 2023 RX in the comments below I look forward to hearing your opinions on this car thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video